Hello and welcome everybody. We're on part three of our Banner Rules Let's Play of the Empire, Balthazar Gelt. And we just got our ass kicked by some dwarfs at Karak Non. That's going to be what this episode's all about. We're going to rebuild our forces and we're going to come back to fight those dwarfs with guns this time. Fuck crossbows. Fuck bows. We're not doing it old-fashioned. We're going to fuck them up. But before we can do that, we need to beat Vicious Gobspit and his army of savage orcs that are attacking Fort Sol. And, you know, I thought with a tier 3 fort that we'd be easily able to defend it. But honestly, looking at this army, I'm a little bit frightened. Now, I'm not going to lie. If we lose this battle, that's probably going to be the end of the campaign. We're already majorly on the back foot. I suppose in hindsight, the decision to attack Karak Non was a terrible idea, but you know what? We're gonna work with it. Sort it. So, we actually get a cannon here, which is fun. Deploy that over here. And it can shoot down anyone coming through there, which is nice. Now we have some halberdiers, which is cool. We can actually use them to blockade the side bits. So if any orc ball boys manage to get around the edge, we can block them. Uh, not as easy to block this side, it would appear. Hang on, can they uh, get around the back of that? Oh, fucking hell, they can. Uh, that's awkward. Well, we'll take the high ground. Then. Fine. Make them charge uphill. That's going to have some sort of advantage, I suppose. And our front line is going to be held with great swords saturated by swordsmen. Yes, sir. Great swords. Ready for Hopefully, they don't have any big scary AOE magic. Alright, let's do this. I speak, you act. Oh, we've got knights as well. Ah, yes. That's a good point. Um, what are we going to do with the knights? I don't know. We'll just keep them down here for now. Can that fire? I doubt it, right? It won't be able to fire over the wall. But once they do come through into the courtyard, that's when that will become a lot more useful. Good damage on these savage orcs. I'm honestly less concerned about these guys now that I've got some halberds in this fort defense force. These guys are going to board the walls pretty quickly and cause us some grief. Mortars are coming in. Not bad. Got some archers this time. Not really too worried about archers to be honest. We are They're not climbing the walls yet, so a little bit more time to uh, fire on them. The Empire and Go! Get out of there. What are they doing? They're not boarding the walls. I mean, that's fine, you know, they don't want to do that. We, uh, are not going to make them. My Ulrich's wrath! Right, where do we want our mortars to focus? They're actually doing some pretty good work over here, so I like that. We're going to continue that. Now he can shoot at them. Good bombardment so far. Come on, Cannon, put some work in. Oh, you need to get out. They're getting caught in melee. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. Ready for 
Wow, he's actually duking my shots. What the fuck is this? Believe that. Now, if this squad of Savage Orcs comes down to the open, the Knights are going to charge, because they're nice and weakened. Should do some good damage to them. Uh, I actually would rather you didn't, like, shoot at, at Vicious Gobspit. I just don't think that's going to be worth it. Save your arm. I like that Gobspit's just standing there, in the middle of the courtyard, allowing himself to be shot by cannons. That is hilarious to me. Okay, now the gate's open, so they're going to come through. Now the mortars appear to be attacking Gobspit. That's a bit weird. Come on, guys, get in position. Uh, we don't want to get hit by the Savage Orc, so that would be a problem. Attack! Especially because they're big uns. So they get bonus anti large. Great cannon! Should be able to fire at him, right? Okay, I mean, this is going alright. Let's bring the knights over this side to help out the halberds. One squad of biggins this way, I mean, halberds should be able to deal with them pretty easily. It's only one unit. Great cannon! Mortars aren't going to be half as effective against cavalry as they are against infantry because cavalry have more HP per model, but it'll still help weaken them down, let the helmets finish them off. I like how these guys just don't really know what they're doing, so derping around that's definitely helpful to me. Coming a bit too many troops over here. Ready for war. Yes, my lord. Let's get a nice charge. I'll lay things for a little longer until the other halberds can get in. Now, the good thing is that these none of these are big ones. They're just normal savage orc ball boys. So there's no anti-large bonus rock. coming out here. Cavalry ready. Oh, they lost two nice there, that's amazing. Oh, friendly fire, for fuck's sake, Mordor. These guys still aren't really committing to a fight, so that's good. Yeah, this is fine. I, I don't know what they're doing, they're just sort of derping around, to be honest with you. Taking so long. Nice little charge for that, nice. Well, it's a nice downhill charge as well. Okay, you can stop. You were proving to not really help that much right now. Yeah, they're 
just gonna mass route. Sweet. What a deathbed. Yeah, gotta admit the fort defences are pretty damn good. So the nice thing about this is we'll actually get a bunch of free money for winning that. And that was actually a heroic victory. It's a bit of a shame that we didn't have a general in the army. Just to get him that sweet heroic victory XP, but whatever. We're going to get some good loot from this, which is definitely helpful. We're a little bit bankrupt at the moment. I mean, it's not too bad, you know, we're not going to need to sack troops. But we definitely can't sustain two full armies, and I could do with two full armies. You see, the problem that we have is if I don't deal with these Karak non dwarfs quickly, the vampires are just going to take over all of the empire. And we really don't want that. Now, one good thing is that my Imperial authority is going up loads. I'll actually be able to just straight up attack Vissenland. If I want to. I mean, I don't really want to confederate um, Avaland when it's only going to give me that settlement. What's the fucking point? Now, it's still so long till we can get handguns, which is really crap. Away. But at least we got a better income now. You're These guys, oh my god, they've got goblin rock lovers. Not ideal. We're going to upgrade Migdal Vongelbarak because we really want to get a garrison here in case the vampires take Grenstar and then attack it. I need this east side to be protected, at least now. That's going to be a powerful settlement. That is fairly defensible, and so we need that as well. And then I don't have to worry about it, and we can just deal with dwarfs attacking something like Festa Spike. Now, as men. it stands, I get still down, require more yes, men. My lord. Can I get any Eldred's Guard? No, nope, certainly not. So, the problem we have here is that I don't actually have any recruitment buildings in these settlements. What does the um, Emperor bid? And we're only allowed a maximum of that many archers due to the banner rules. We'll just have to go with this force for now. And honestly, with the, the siege battle, that should be sufficient. Now, I was thinking, when I fight the dwarfs, I just want to mostly have shieldmen. A shieldmen? Spearmen with shields. Ideally, that would be all I build, but uh, obviously we're limited to five because of banner rules, so that's that's an issue. But I also want free company militia, 100%. They're really, really strong against dwarfs, kiting them. And the fact they don't just flop when they go into melee is useful, too. Not like they're very strong in melee, but you get what I'm saying. Um... Can we get any trade agreements? Anything to make more money would be Uko. amazing right now. It is good to see fellows. Uh, oh, these guys are no longer at war with the buddy Clarkerond. I mean, Clarkerond? Who are they? They're uh, Dark Elves, are they? Carrick Norn. Well, that's annoying. Wow, they actually condemned the war. You guys were at war with them first. What is wrong with you? What a bunch of nonces. I actually have a nap with them. Didn't realize that, so maybe we won't go to war with them anytime soon. Whatever. But what makes you think I'll help you, manling? I don't think there's going to be uh, much in the way of diplomacy, so we're just going to have to power through these turns until we can get to a point where we have guns. Just hold off the onslaught of greenskin rebels, savage orcs, and potentially an attack from those dwarfs at Karaknorn. I'm not too worried about Fyldorf. Though I am slightly worried, if I'm honest with you. Uh, a garrison of 8 is not that good. Obviously a full stack of dwarfs will smash that up very quickly. Walls or no walls. Oh, what's going on? Um, yeah, we need to help out Telebeckland. Pyrrhic victory. I mean... Yeah, that's the Selma Garrison, that's fine. I don't want to fight that manually. 
I don't need to fight it manually. That's nice, just because it's more fealty. In terms of making more money, we don't actually have that many options. Am I scared of this force? I mean, I have 9 plus 8, 17 troops in total. I mean, they've got wolf riders and goblins. I don't think I'm that scared. What's actually defending it? You've got 6 melee units. I think that's fine. These three, yeah, we should be fine. I'd rather upgrade this. But this needs to be the primary army, so... Uh, we'll actually get even more free company militia. I really like them against dwarfs. They performed admirably. And we just see what happens. Do I really want to upgrade these things? Not really. Uh, I don't think that's a priority. It's not like I have the money to keep upgrading these towns anyhow. And we're not in a position to get any sort of hero yet, so we can't progress our quests either, which is unfortunate. I'll have to check how many turns it is until Balfasar Galt can actually come back and help us. God, this screaming goblin is so annoying. My lord, a rival oh, brilliant. power desires a change in your mutual relations. Good, we get to flog some of our wine. And he causes more public order. Okay, things aren't going that badly. You know? the men. I think things could definitely be going worse than this. So, I will marshal the men. I'm going to keep increasing the troops in this force. Uh, I think that's sufficient numbers of range units, probably. I mean, I'd love to get more crossbows, but I'm not allowed to. Now, in terms of AP, what do these do? Seven. Oh, why can't I check? Does this let me check? No, brilliant. I'm pretty sure these guys do, like, next to no AP. To the provinces! So then that's the maximum amount of spearmen that we can have. I might actually get five free company militia, you know. We'll see. I don't want any of them other upgrades. Definitely don't want to tax this place for 72 income. What's the point of that? We're getting growth. I'd rather, I think I'd rather have the public order back. Get minus three from events. What's that all about? Oh, this migration. Okay, so then it'll start going positive. That's cool. What does the Emperor and he hasn't mean? attacked me. And that's all he's going to have. Okay, so presumably he's going to attack next turn. How many turns till we can get Gel? One turn. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. As I say, all we're doing here is defending until we can get handguns. If we can get handguns and mortars, we should be able to beat the dwarves. You'd hope. Oh, wow. Underway interception. Karaknorn. Longbeards with great weapons. Longbeards. That's so hard. To fight it in the underway as well, probably not a good idea. Yeah, I think because it's in the underway, I'm gonna have to say no. Man, even the Quarrelers, 80 armor is such a threat. Nah. Where is he? Oh, he's next to me. Okay, that's fine. We have Balthazar Gel again. Can you swap the uh, the uh, leader when you're being besieged? I think I'd rather have Gelt here though, and just attack them. If I fight these guys in the open field, I'm I'm not scared at all. Especially now I've got more spearmen. No way. So we'll bring back Gelt. And over here we need to get handguns, hundred percent. We can't afford it. But soon. Ooh, war wagons could be a really interesting choice. God, would you stop screaming? I will marshal them. I don't want to 
Sam's Spitman anyway. To the provinces. You're not right then. I win this fight, right? Yeah. Cool. Let us move. Good. So that does something. What does the Trains mean? him a little bit, which, you know, could be worse. Might actually give him public order. Nah. Let's make him a better general. Okay, now we scrap him. We need the money. Let's be realistic. So we're getting public order bonuses here. This side's protected by Gel, and we're getting public order bonuses here. We're obviously saving up to get this. Now we don't need to save up because we just got the money from winning the battle. Fantastic. I actually might get some war wagons. The fact that they're mobile skirmish cavalry that does AP would actually be really good against dwarfs. The problem is it's not really going to be very good against anything else, but these guys are such a fawn on our side that it's probably worth it to do that. Okay. Do these things count as artillery units then, war wagons? It doesn't matter, I don't I shouldn't be concerning myself with war wagons. We're not gonna get many of them. Pistoliers and outrider missile strength, that's cool, but it's not really exactly a priority. I think, honestly, uh I just want money. Research ray and construction time down for construction costs. Yeah, that, that all sounds very good. Assuming he has no backup, this should be easy enough to win. He is still underground, but now that I've got the extra Spearman and Gel, I'm confident we can win this. I'm confident. Honestly, though, it being an underground battle makes this so much harder. Because I just can't kite them forever, like I can in the field battles. Sigma calls! Okay. Militia! Now the problem as well is they've got quarrelers, so I can't just send the militia completely far forward. And I don't want to cheese it and make them waste their quarreler ammo with Gelt, that's not fun. Obviously, if I was try harding, I could do that. Missiles at the ready! Let's go. We want as much room as possible to kai them. 60 power reserve again. It's such a shit amount of power reserve. Glory to the Empire! Now! Uh, let's fucking Take blast position. the judges. Yes, General! Strike them down! Finish up! Sigma Corps! Why do they move slow up hills? 
Which I guess you would have to expect, wouldn't you? They are off, so the end of the day. Quick march! For the Warhammer! The foe's ready, General! I am supreme! At speed! Okay, this free company militia really needs to get back. These miners with the blasting charges are really scaring me. They're gonna do huge damage. It might be worth just sacrificing someone to get rid of them. To be honest. Weapons at the ready! Moving now! Pew 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 pew. We serve the Emperor! Oh, that's a good saving do. Finish up! At speed! Free company! We serve the Emperor! Free company! To battle! Charge! Charge! Sigmar guides us! Get them! By Gormaras! No lingering! Finish up! Oh, what the hell, why are you stopped moving? It's time for you to do a job. Quick march! No lingering! For the war hammer! Yes, sir, quickly! Oh, stop. Moving. Stop. Spearman! Standing by! Crossbowman! By Ulrich's craft! We are ready! Quick march! Quick march! Take position! general is going to be a problem to deal with, for sure. Wow, Gel is losing so much health, oh my god. Gel, please. You real? Yeah, 
we got this. We got this. Take the ground. Show us the foe. Charge him, Spearman. Lord of Metal, take the ground. Strong him, Take the ground. To battle. Ready for war. Why did you idiots run into melee? My God, Maraz! The friend! Why are you in melee? Get out! No lingering! Spearman! Formation march! Ready for war! For the war hammer! Why are they running into melee constantly? Would you just shoot? What the hell are you doing? Very strange behavior. That's it, get rid of him. And the Coralus. Come on, route you bastards. Well, that was harder than I actually expected, but yeah, we did it, and we only lost like one squad. Those crossbowmen should easily replace, to be fair. Cool, more XP to Gel, and I think actually it gives us access to a regiment of renown. But we'll save that in the bank in case we need some on-demand troops later. It's nice to get a little bit of revenge against those annoying Karaknon dwarfs. I can't wait to see what they're going to do against my war wagons. Uh, money or casualty replenishment? I think we want casualty replenishment for this army. Oh, Def Jack's archers. Yeah, they'll be really helpful. Sigmar's sons, they will be helpful. Def Jack's not so much. Let's finish him off. Um, why are we going to lose troops? Come on now, that's just silly. No, I can't afford it. I need all the money that I can get at the moment. I am unfortunately going to have to fight this one manually. That's one thing that I've been hearing a lot in Total Warhammer 3, that the Order Resolve is pretty harsh, actually. It will wipe out lower HP troops left, right, and center. So these weak ones, obviously, I just want them as far back as possible. No point in them participating in the fight. Just winning for these guys and Gil. Rust that armor. I don't actually want to overcast because I don't want to take unnecessary damage. You know, look at that HP bar. How the fuck were the 24 goddamn dwarfs still there? Yes, sir. Keeping distance, sir. 
Pretty much it. I mean, look at the crazy leadership buffs. The fact that he's not routing. Can you believe it? Let's see how long it takes to kill this geezer. Who doesn't even have a shield, apparently. And these guys have rallied. No, they haven't. Okay, good. There we go. Cool. You see, we actually took some losses there. Eh, only 18. I know Gelt lost a decent amount of HP, though. Frigging Karak Norn. He's a threat. Any dwarf is a threat. Take the leadership. We need the casualty replenishment, so we can't take the other option. I am a supreme patriarch. There you go, get a bit of replenishment again. And what are we going to get next? Um, I don't really want archers. Let's just get some swordsmen. I think archers are kind of pointless. We'll get more crossbow. Not crossbow, free company militia as well. Couple of level ups. More damage and double the bonus ammunition. Can't go wrong. And. Plague of Ruster. Metal shifting could be good. Oh, it's only for melee troops, though. That's not very helpful then. Winds of Magic cost reduction for the Searing Doom and reduce the miscast chance. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now, I know that we got some... Uh, my general's out here, so I can't put things on them. Makes sense, I guess. I was going to say, I know we got some cool followers from some of them battles. But not much we can do with them, it seems. Nice amount of prestige gain from all this scrapping of people. It is good. Our Imperial authority is really high, so as long as we can finish off these dwarfs before they deal with Avaland... I mean, even if they destroy Avaland... Oh, I just noticed Avaland actually took Swartz often. Ostermak have been destroyed. You know, I already accepted that that was probably going to happen ages ago, so I'm not too bothered. With Avaland, though, if they do lose this war, I'm not... I'm not really that bothered, because we'll just come back in and, and reform them. So we are going to get this garrison up here. We want that as soon as possible, because it's very vulnerable. And we get a cute little upgrade in Fester Spike. So we can't afford the barracks, even though that would be nice, because it will give us the captain, which is good because it lets us start doing these quests. Um, I am instead just going to get the money building. And then eventually... No, I'm not going to get the money building. You know what? I'm just going to wait. Eventually we will get the money building and we'll get rid of the growth one, but not anytime soon. And that allows me to continue not taxing the province. We'll just wait and we'll get this upgrade. I do want a captain, like, ASAP. To get those quests done, they're going to be a huge help. But at the same time... I want guns before I attack Karaknorn. 
That's what I want. Very well. I'll move. So we'll just we'll just pull back. Then we'll do a bit of a switcheroo. Build a general down there in two turns. Have a nice stockpile of money. And yeah, we should be in a decent spot then. We can probably do some electoral machinations. Let's make the Emperor like us a bit more, should we? Or Telebeckland. You see, I don't really want to do Telebeckland yet because... If I confederate them, there's no way I can defend them. I'd rather just work on other people, like the Emperor. So we'll do that. And we'll continue. We should get an event to choose whether or not to confederate Avaland next turn, if I recall correctly, or maybe the turn after. We're not going to do it, because we're not in a fit state to take a war to the vampires. So we're going to delay that for another 20 turns. It's fine. Oh, is Talibim getting besieged? That's not good. Yeah, this is what I mean. The vampires are starting to go crazy. I'm going to save that prestige for any more Imperial Authority events. I don't have enough to be confident with throwing it away like that to save a bit of cash. Now the vampires have took back Schwartz off. And so I imagine that Avaland have probably lost their main army. They're pretty low on strength ranking, which is not ideal. Yet? Can I get an agreement with you? Well no. Uh, what about Reichland? Anything extra with them? Not yet. They're actually doing really well, nine settlements. Only the rest of the empire was doing that well. Ready. Yeah, so we're saving up for that, and then next turn we can get a a bunch more troops anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, why have I got six now? I'm not meant to have six. I'll have to delete one of these. Whoops, that's my bad. I'm only allowed to have five at most. I am ready. Are you? Um, and yeah, you know, I want to get this, but that's not going to pay for itself anytime soon. It's more important in the short term, I think, for me to get this barracks and get some captains out, and then obviously next turn get gunners over here. Gunners and war wagons. Probably should have changed my commandment actually to recruitment stance. My bad. What else declaring war on Clan Scryer? We like that. And an army of Karaknorn is here. Uh, what? No, please don't do that. We do not want to be declaring war with Hockland right now. That'd be horrendous. So first and foremost, the most important thing is to get back... Ugh, these generals are going to take two turns. Are you kidding me? So I have to pay for another fool. Unbelievable. Public order. Fine. The most important thing is getting gunners and war wagons for this fight. Now, what do we want first? Um, we want... Hang on. Let's swap this to recruitment for next turn. What does the Emperor bid? We want as many gunners as possible. So it means we can't afford to get the barracks upgraded, but that's fine. Um Do I get this then? Or do I get a garrison? I mean, what's the chance of Festive Spike being attacked? So I think it's really slim. I've never seen Wood Elves under underway over to here. Though, Orcs could come from down here. But then again, if we look, the Border Princes are holding out really well. In fact, the Border Princes are pushing back. What the fuck? The Border Princes are doing amazing. And even the Dwarfs are. Okay, that's great. So I'm actually going to get the income building. I guess I should have got it ages ago, but I expected to have the 4,000. I realize now I'm never going to have the 4,000 because I'm spending it on more troops, so whatever. Uh, this is a, a pretty fearsome force, but honestly, we've got a decent little garrison now in Festa Spike. I think we're decent, you know. 
I want to try and ambush them. I ignore that. But it looks like I can't go into the woods. Which is a shame. Who calls? Let's see. Any of these movement ranges in the woods? No. That's fine. We'll just go into... We could go into... Encampment. Get melee defense. We'll just yes, go into ambush them. If we can ambush him, no. I'd be very happy with that. I mean, this is a scary army, honestly. What the heck? Because I think this is going to be tough to beat. Even only having 16 troops there and us having an extra 7 coming. Pfft, I don't know, man. Long beards up the wazoo. Yes, my lord. And we're running out of income. I will marshal the All right, here we go. Surprised we didn't get the thing for confederating Avaland. Oh, maybe because we're not 10 fealty anymore. I'm not sure. Well, we're not going to get it now, are we? They're gone. That's a problem, you see, because I never actually mustered up the money to deal with thing over on the side. And we've lost Imperial Authority because of it. Uh, I'm going to take the money and the Chaos Corruption. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not very good. Stirland is declaring war on Vissenland. Why would you do that, guys? I'm doing nothing. I mean, we need this garrison as soon as possible now. But obviously, we also need troops. Um, final handgunner. War wagons. How many war wagons are we allowed in an army? Let's check. The banner rules. Let's have a look. Empire. So, uh, what is maximum of four per army, and then you're only allowed six missile cavalry or chariots per army, and twelve missile units. So, but they're really expensive. Two hundred sixty-five, uh, two sixty-five, two sixty-five is is what um, five hundred thirty-ish something. So that only leaves me with three hundred. It's going to be all my money. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll we'll get the walls. So yeah, that that's pretty much all my money gone. Uh, we want to move a little bit closer. So let's. Need to be in uh, field off. Yes, my lord. Not just to be able to recruit the correct troops. A couple of them, and do we want a mortar instead of more handguns? I don't know, you know. Yeah, I think so. I think we do. So if I attack them here, no, oh, I think that's stupid. Why would I attack them? I mean, they're fatigued, so that gives me an advantage. But is it a big enough advantage? I'm not really convinced it is. I would rather wait next turn to get these guys up and fight them like that. But then again, they're not going to be winded then, are they? 16 versus 20. Of all these long beards. I don't think this favours me. I really don't. Not without handgunners. I'm going to pass. See what they do. Come on, dwarfs, you know that 
you can't take this. They're going to attack me. Oh, they brought in reinforcements. Oh, that's bad. Um, well, if we lose this place, we lose this place. We just come back and attack them with Gelt again, but an actual better army, actually this time full of handgunners instead of free company militia and crossbows. So, whatever. You know, we'll take it. We'll take this fight. Leadership. Who wants leadership? Uh, probably just give it to some swordsmen and then base weapon damage. I mean, you know, who cares? <laughs> give it to swordsmen. No, give it to Sigma Sons because they've got higher melee attack. Not like it makes much of a difference. Still in a weak region in terms of Winter Magic. That is one thing that's really hurting me here. Really hurting me. Okay. We've got everyone at the start, which actually is a pretty big advantage to us. Not really any high ground to exploit, but it doesn't matter. We don't need high ground. We just need lots of ground, lots of open ground. So, crossbowmen on this side. Let's send two over this way. These two. This is going to be a really tough battle to win. But you know what? I think there is actually potential. And the thing is, if we do win this, I think we're in an amazing position then because we're coming at them with more reinforcements as well. Guns. Which is huge. Coming at them with guns. Free company! For Helden Hammer! Alright, I'm going to put free company on this side. Literally everyone is going into skirmish mode. Now, spearmen are the main things to hold the line. We actually have halberds, which is amazing because they do a little bit of armor piercing, so they'll actually trade quite well with dwarf warriors. Not with longbeards, I'm still losing against longbeards. And the opponent's only really fielding. Bits, so that's not ideal, but you know, whatever. Um, and then we have swordsmen. We want to run the swordsmen into their ranged units if we can. Ideally. Because they've got enough melee attack that they'll punch you through them and do a, a little bit of damage. So we'll just scatter the melee troops around like that. And the captain, he's not really going to achieve much either. More swordsmen. Okay, now, yeah, we have a decent arm here, don't we? Jeez. Definitely. Let's go. Let's do this. We need to prioritize killing the quarrelers so that we have all control over who moves where and who kills what. Taking position for Heldenhammer! Lord of metal. We now have upgraded Searing Doom, which is beautiful. It's going to cost us less wins of magic, and there's less chance of Gelt hurting himself when he overcasts it. Beautiful damage like that. It's an okay start, but honestly, it's a little bit shaky. You know what I'm going to do? These melee troops are going to try and loop around and attack them. You're going to get yourself caught. You don't run the direction that I tell you. Oh, 
Oh, you idiots are going the total wrong direction. They're going to die for that, I think. Oh shit, Gelt's been attacked. That is not what we want. Free company! To battle! Moving now! Shania protects us! Quick march! Swordsman! Sigma call! Anderson! Attack! Oh, get out. How are you caught? Yes, General! Because I turned Skirmish Mode off. Whoops. Denting them, even if we don't win this, we're getting some real good damage in. Formation, march! Are you all getting compromised? Oh, I see. They're getting hit by the uh, range units. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna lose. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do what we do. Oh, they wrecked my halberds with those fucking mines. Bricks. Definitely have been worse. Put a lot of damage into them. So I'm relatively happy with that. Massively weakened them for a more anti-dwarf force to actually come in and, and 
and saw him out. the other thing they just never fucking route moving now take the ground the helden hammer ready for the twin tail comet we serve the emperor with our drone bout is our guilt on the way withdraw spearmen sigma gaita get miscast I'd be happy if I can kill the fan, that'd be good. Nope, everyone's gonna rout. Shit. Ugh, man. Not ideal. So do I get to retreat and fight him again with my magic? That'd be awesome if so. Or oh, was I actually in the settlement there? I think I might have been in the settlement. We killed quite a lot, but we didn't destroy the units, is the problem. Man. Long beards, and this shows you the power of armor. But I suppose it also shows you the power of armor piercing, or at least we'll get to see that soon. So, yeah, we got wrecked. Um, we didn't kill anything. We killed one squad of long beards. They're going to be fully healed, man, by the time I get back. Not good. Not good. They stole my Banner of Eternal Flame. I can't give a shit. Wow, you're using more of my money for this. Oh, this is not great. Um. Oh, dear. Oh, this is a scary enemy army. We're going to have to fight this. Is that his capital? Oh, if it's his capital and we're doing a siege battle, we should be able to win this. Wow, the Empire is under threat, guys. The Empire is under some severe threat. All of this because I decided to attack dwarfs. Let me just say this, guys. I will not be attacking dwarfs again in this campaign going to focus entirely on the green skins and try and befriend the rest of the dwarfs once Karak Narn are dead. Okay, this is a siege battle, so I think we should be fine. Whoa. Stop panning my camera away. I don't know, though. they got a pretty scary army. Fortunately, a lot of the scary stuff is large, so that's where the siege battle comes in. Like these minotaurs in the open field would be a nightmare, as would giants and cygors. God, my reinforcements are trickling in at such a slow speed. Just way too many gores, though. They're going to take over the walls easily. Way too many gores. Is this the extent of my army? Not big. Death to the enemy! Great swords really should not be at the front. Shot by Ungo Raiders. That's a waste of my great sword allies. Ah, we want to focus this geezer. Is he a caster or a beast lord? He's a caster. 
needs to die. He needs to die with priority. Yes, sir. The big single entity monsters don't seem to be doing anything, which is a strange decision, but that's good. It's the handgunners firing them for free, I guess. Come on, Kurt Solander. Take that beast lord out. Ready, my lord. Gunners. Have they broke through. Oh, they're already through. Oh, that's bad. Um. Okay then. Whoa, my halberds are already getting shot. What the fuck? Awaiting Get back, halberds. To battle. To battle. Swordsmen need to get up on the walls and start killing Gores. Great swords need to counter their enemy Vestigors. You need to attack him. Oh, you're getting way too close. Given that there are Minotaurs on the way. Shoot the Minotaurs! Albus, you need to get in there. Alright, you know. I'm actually doing alright. But the best of guys are kind of kicking our ass, not gonna lie. Nice oh, the Minotaurs are getting shot up, so that's good. And my handgunners here are running into melee, which is not good. There's also a giant that is mostly full health. These Minotaurs are sort of derping around, they're not sure whether they want to commit. I do have Harper's weighing in the back. Come on, get rid of this, General. Standing by. Oh wow, these guards have worked through. Understood for the Emperor. That's actually terrible. What are they doing? Standing by. They're still messing around. Not sure whether they want to charge or not. I'm gonna break soon now. Take position! The Empire endures! Come on, drop those minotaurs. I think we're gonna lose this team here. Formation! March! This is not good. Hand gunners! Sigma commands! Take position! Man! I don't get it. What is going on? No lingering. Oh, what? They decided to charge after all that. And they're going straight for my... No, they're not. They're not going for the handgunners. It's okay. We live. Do you want to shoot the, uh, the fellow over there? Oh, this is great. This is a good little firing line we've got onto those gauze. But Oh my god, there's more coming. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can kill them fast enough. Show us the foe! Hand gunners! Ready for war! State troops! Ready! Yeah, this is gonna be a loss. Damn, damn, damn. So the capital of Oslo is going to get destroyed. That is not very good. Great swords. Halberdiers. Hand gunners. Missile infantry. 
If they were like permanently broken, I'd be confident. But even when they're down to nine models, they're not fully retreating. It's ridiculous. And now a bunch of besticles are coming. I mean, there's just no respite. We don't have enough guns. Ready to fire. Fire. fire them. No one here to defend my handgunners. Salsman? Uh, yeah, I think we're a little bit outnumbered, boys. Yeah, GG. Sorry, Osland. I couldn't do much more than that, mate. I tried. You need better garrisons, buddy. Truly, the Empire is falling apart. And we've not even had the vampires declare war on us yet. Just wait till that happens. That's when we say GG to the campaign. You know, I didn't want to do a Carl Franz campaign because I figured it was too easy and a bit dull. This is definitely not too easy. To be honest, not very dull either. Um, looks like they are getting pretty good replenishment. Which is bullshit. The AI definitely gets big, big cheeks in that regard. Uh, that probably doesn't help though, the greenery. Yes, my lord. Uh, now I don't have a lot of money. Um, yeah, okay, well. The nation calls. What are you gonna do? To battle! What? Sterling demands the moot. That's random. So you were with this then? They are. Me. Okay. Ice. Well, that's nice at least. I stand strong behind it. Mm. Tell yes. Beckland is getting wrecked. They just lost their capital to the vampires. We really could do with Carl Franz turning around right and deciding to change what he's doing. All right. Marienburg is getting wrecked as well. Will be ah, Dark Elsa here, and he's fighting Artois for some reason. Why are you fighting Artois? So be it. The that seems Only silly, with that. to be honest. So, I, will listen I would say humans time. should not be fighting humans. Hawkland isn't going to last long. Osland just lost its fucking my of course. Yes. main By Sigma's settlement. Will. No. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, this is all going to be on Midland and the Reichland, isn't it? Sigma. To save our asses. Okay, we need more handgunners, and fuck it, I'm going to get the maximum four war wagons per army. Oh, I've just realized we've got a new problem. Now we don't have a military building. Oh my goodness. Well, we can probably demolish that. We don't really Ready. need that anymore. Um, and we'll, <laughs> we'll have to get some, some spearmen. No, that's silly. We can't do that, can we? I mean, we have to. We we'll have to. We we got to attack. Oh fuck me! I will marshal the bed. This is so bad. This is so bad. Uh, 
Oh, I don't even have that much prestige anymore for electoral machinations. Imperial province capitals raised and two elector counts destroyed. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. This took away all that surplus imperial authority I had. Someone's getting attacked over here? That's odd. And now Telebickland have been declared war on by the Wargrove of Woe. Just another enemy to deal with. Angry tree spirits. So I think we can write Telebeckland off as fucked. The Empire. Um, we could go for flagellants. Could be useful against the undead. Not very useful against the dwarfs. We need the training field. We gotta have a training field. To the provinces. I'm sorry, but that's kind of mandatory. Uh, I should probably replace you with someone else. How long till we get Gel? Three turns. Well, for now, we'll go with Mr... Uh, no, we won't. I actually like this guy because he gives plus four public order. That's a good little what bonus to have for now, I guess. Yes, my lord. I will marshal the men. And we... Can't really build anything else other than Spearman. <laughs> well, that's a problem, isn't it? The provinces. At least that only takes one turn to build, right? It's good. Raise Sigma. We'll just wait. I'm not building normal spearmen. What What's the, the fucking Emperor point? Build? I just get five swordsmen, no. and the rest of my army is going to be ranged troops. Fuck it. Melee troops don't do anything against these dwarfs anyway. Honestly, they do nothing. So what's the point? So let me double check the banner rules, because I'm not certain that I'm not breaking anything here. Yeah, four war wagons you're allowed. Twelve shooting units, and then six cavalry shooting units. Slash chariot. Yes, my lord. We could actually upgrade Karakahern. Um... No, I don't think that's a big deal. I'd rather upgrade the rally field, I think. Get a spearman with shields. So. Or would I? What's in Carrick Hearn? Oh, we can get more money with the um, the iron. Get more money from iron. Yeah, let's do that. To the provinces. And then in Car in um, main settlement, we want... Uh, free company militia and swordsmen. I feel like having two mortars now is kind of redundant as well because I've got no front line to support them. Oh, well. How many max range units can you have in an army? Twelve shooting units in an army. Uh, I'm like at that, aren't I? One, two, three, four, five, nine, eleven, twelve. Shit. I mean, artillery has to count as a shooting unit, right? Let's do. Fine. You know, maybe I exceeded that before. I'm not even sure. Who calls? Raise Sigma. It is time. We got this. We've got this. We can beat these dwarfs. You know, honestly, if they wanted to do peace, I would allow it right now. Oh my god, there's vampires. Like, that's the thing, the vampires should be the priority. Oh, Visselin just won against the vampires! Go on, you beast! Just killed Isabella von Karstein. I serve no master. Bribe them, we need the prestige. Oh yes! Finally a hero. What do you want of me? I really I don't need a light it. wizard. But actually that could be useful later on fighting the vampires. So right now I wanna move a hero to a region with 
the dwarfs. Seeking so we go over light. there and it completes that. What does the Emperor bid? Boom. Move any character to the Red Eye Mountain. Oh god. That's not I will mark him well, you know, it is what it is. The nation calls. Move over this way. Sure. And we get. We're going to get Eldred Spearman. And another squad of swordsmen. And we have to get normal spearmen. Because that takes us to the limit of five swordsmen. Yeah. Now you're going to loop back and you're going to go all the way up to Red Iron Mountain. And if, if you can... I mean, I really don't want to try and piss off the vampires any more than I already have, to be honest with you. But... We might need to. I'm not sure. I'm going to upgrade the money before I upgrade the recruitment building. Money is definitely a problem for me right now. It is time. Can I get Gelt back? Uh, another turn. Okay. Let's see what they do. Now, we are actually improving our relations with the Reichland quite a lot. And the fealty is high. So that's good. It means a confederation should happen soon. I hope that when I can take out Karak Norn, I'll be able to confederate Reichland, and then I'll be much, much stronger. And whatever's going on in, against the Wood Elves, like, I don't know what Reichland's doing in the West. I don't know if he's fighting people in Britonia. I don't know if he's fighting Wood Elves or Norse, but I'm not going to bother with any of that. We're going to call off all those wars with Cal, and we're going to focus on the East, because the, the Empire's falling apart. Wait, did I just give the capital of Ostland to Hockland? I did. I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, hmm. Well, at least they retained it. That's good. Let's go over into these vampire lands. That definitely used to be our lands. Uh... Upgrade the rally field. There's not I much of a garrison no over here in Avaheim. Which should be easy to take back. Uh, we're going to get Gelt back. I am ready. And I we're going to go see what the fuck the dwarves are up to. to what are you up to, dwarves? No 13 men over there. Okay, that's not too scary, right? Diplomacy. Carl Franz, do you like me? Can I get a nap with these guys? They're only fighting wood elves. That's good. At least you're not fighting too many. Marienburg look like they're about to die. Who's attacking you, Marienburg? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, they've only got Grungs in. Marienburg has fallen to Dark Elves, the Thousand Moors. Oh, that's not good. Approach us, friend. So... Come then, only Sigma's the weak order. That is not good. Huko? Welcome, the my is falling Indeed. apart. Sterland has no troops left. They've just got battered, presumably by the von Karsteins that have took back the moot. Yes. You see, Vissenland is actually doing pretty Approach damn good. Friend and make which is cool. I like that. Um, yes, it is good to see. Everyone else is kind of getting wrecked. Except Reichland, which Empire. kicking ass. Can I get As you say. I can. Great. So my relationship with Carl is going up quite a lot. That's really yes, nice. Yes, speak your we obviously want to be able to confederate him as soon as possible. I think confederating him is going to be the key to success. Fealty 8. High Relations 1 defended them. Yeah, okay. Cool. So let's let's do this. Let's kill the dwarfs. Get Karaknon and confederate it. Then we own all this mountain range, the bottom mountain range, and all the Reichland. We'll be in a decent spot. Kind of. Honestly, we're probably not going to be able to use Carl on the Eastern Front, because now there's Dark Elves to deal with on the Western Front. And if we don't kill the Dark Elves, well, they're going to keep attacking the Reichland. And if we do kill the Dark Elves, well, then we own Marienburg, which, yes, makes us a lot of money, but then we keep getting attacked by the Norse. So... Either way, we've got some problems here. Um, leadership in public. No, I don't care about fighting men. I'm not going to do that. I want money. Give me the money. Uh, Marienburg are dead. Ooh. 
Still only 13 troops here and 6 more in the garrison. We can take that for sure. That's nice to know. Do we want anything special in Carrot Kern other than this? I don't think so. We just save our money now. 21 turns until tier 4 settlement. God, that's so long. Should have swapped that a while back. Whoops. Okay, let's scout these. Preparing rites of exorcism. So we need to move over to the Red Eye Mountain. God, that's so far away. We travel the winds of let's just get moving. See if you can make it there without getting assassinated by level 14 vampires. <laughs> I think it's quite unlikely, to be honest. We'll see. Festus Spike, I'm taking you back. Valiant defeat. I don't think so. Not now. Not now we've got armor piercing. These are not crossbows. And these are not... Well, I had nothing like this before. These are not free company militia. <laughs> not at all. So, I think I've got this. Hey, look at that. It's no longer a weak area for the Winds of Magic as well. This could be what we need. Let's see what happens. They do have a lot of quarrelers. Which is really frustrating. Because that is the counter to my war wagons. Kind of. I mean, Thunderers would be a better counter. War wagons actually do have pretty good armor. So, really to count them properly, you are going to need to have Thunderers. Which they don't. So we'll split these guys up. Obviously, they go on skirmish mode. And they automatically kite those slow, slow dwarfs. Uh, and do we want to blob our mortars up? I think we do. Put them over in this direction. Position our swordsmen as so. The swordsmen are obviously entirely secondary to this fight. Winning against dwarfs is all down to... Let's put this guy, like, over here. Hopefully you can distract, like, two units or something. And that would make it worth it. Winning the battles against the dwarfs all to do with these handgunners. It looks like that's going to be somewhat successful. Let's do this. Actually, going to move you up a little bit. We are Sigma's ears. Kind of comfortable. Sigma calls. Handgunners, moving now. Yes, sir. Keeping distance, sir. Now, I don't just want to barrel these war wagons right up to the enemy. Go. Go because Sigma I mean, calls. moving now. It's just dumb. To battle. Now, I'm just going to get shot by callers. Yes, General. I'll do that. These guys I want to put, like, over here, so then that pulls them away. Just keep pulling the enemy away, that'd be amazing. Gotta keep the war wagons moving so that they can dodge as much fire as possible from the quarrelers. If you see them being nice and heavily armoured, it doesn't hurt at all. But, uh, yeah, we're getting, we're getting shot. Not too bad. Well, you guys are walking really far forward. Can you, like, not do that? War wagons seem to be quite effective, actually. Going on this way. And one thing's for sure, the war wagons will be a lot less vulnerable to um, lasting charges and pretty much everything else. Yeah, let's start trying to take out their quarrelers with our mortars. That seems like a brilliant idea. Oh, you're moving away way 
Wagons are actually okay in um, melee as well. I mean, kind of. Taking kind of a lot of damage on that one. Like that. These questions that must be asked. Sigma! Standing by. Moving now. Ready. Formation. March. War wagons just being able to solo units is extremely valuable. That is very hard to understate. Oh, they've left their quarrelers vulnerable. the free company militia I lost, that's what I lost. Um, oh, I never attacked melee. Oh, maybe I did, they're just taking forever to... values are just so much higher. Okay, you guys just, just get out. And the quarrelers really don't do a lot of damage to the war wagons, which is amazing. We'll get these guys back because they're pretty fragile. All their quarrelers are getting compromised at this point. The handgunners have a shitload of ammo as well. Oh, these guys are doing very well over here, god. Time for an overcast, I think. No, maybe not. Do too much to fire. Ah, 
Oh, I, I should have waited. Oops. Well, Wagons did amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know, competitively, the War Wagons are a very questionable choice, but the certain matchups, where they're amazing. Now, don't get me wrong, normally they're not very good against Dwarfs, because Dwarfs normally have Thunderers. But uh, against Lizardmen, for example, the multiplayer, oh, oh, War Wagons are amazing. And obviously, CA designed that with that in mind, because they released the War Wagons with the Marcus Ulfa DLC. Uh, just get the War Wagons off the field at this point. I don't want to take any uh, model losses on them. It's a good thing that we've got a lot of ammo left. Just get out of there, wagon. Do what you need to do. I think we can speed things up a bit. They've all retreated. Amazing. And that's that, because that was a settlement battle. Okay, here we go. The revenge is happening. We didn't lose anything. And the beautiful thing about war wagons, if you don't lose the models on them, they go to full HP. Not to mention, they get all their ammo back as well. That went a lot better. We actually had even numbers, and this time I didn't lose three times as many troops as they did. Modders didn't really achieve that much, to be honest, but... Most of their archers were sort of, well, they were away in the back end trying to deal with the war wagons, so they're going to be the main target for the Moors. All right, we're going to take back Festa Spike. Do not waste my time. It's ours once again. Ogres, my lord. Ogres. These brutish nomads are as strong as they are stupid. Ogre mercenaries. That could be very, very helpful. The nation. We'll upgrade that. Um, we will get rid of him because he's really weak and just replace it with that. And the rest of them, yeah, we'll, we'll get the replenishment slowly over time. That's fine. We could actually replace them with Sigmar's sons later on if they don't replenish quick enough. But that's okay. We're actually going to get the ogres. We're going to get Mormfang cavalry because there's no chance of us getting cavalry ourselves anytime soon. We just don't have the slots anywhere. So yes, getting Mon from Cavalry would be amazing for us in a pinch. Not going to be as useful against the Undead, but could be very useful when we have to go down south into the Badlands to deal with the uh, Grim Gorzad boys. Hopefully, we can just take out Karak Norn, and that is the goal of this episode. Hopefully get that done within the next 20 minutes or so. We shall see. That might be optimistic, because the battle's probably going to take like 30 minutes anyway. I really can't believe how much of a fawn in our side these guys have been. Negative growth in Fort Sol, don't really care. Who calls? It's very defensible as it is. A wise move. Okay, so now this place is upgraded, that's good. We also have more spells for Gelt. Golden Face Mask, mm, not that great. Missile strength for all of my missile units. Yes, please. Oh, to get that, you have to have all of these first. I want the missile strength. 20% ammo and missile strength is insane. Let's get that. Let's recruit the cavalry. There you go. Pawned Guts, Monfan Cavalry. So now we can get them whenever we want down here. It is going to cost us a lot. Like crazy expensive, but... In a pinch, it could be very useful. So, we're going to try and make some more money. We're going to get the Iron Mining Pit, and we're going to upgrade this. In an effort to make a bit more money. 
how far forward can we actually move here? Not very far because Do we're then in mountainous terrain. Um, we can move to like here. Move. Okay. All right. Some of them income technologies are slowly coming through as well. That'll help us out for sure. I'm really happy with Vissenland. They've actually performed very well this campaign. And now they want peace, eh? Well, no, it's too late. Now I've actually got the things to beat you, and I want your settlement, because once I confederate Carl. I'm going to have the other two minor settlements in the province. Might as well get the main one. Might as well get the main one. Now we just save up to get this. I think. Yeah. What Slowly move over to, to the Red Eye Mountains. Where is it? Over here? Yeah. Patriarch. Fortunately, progress very up this well, mountain pass is well. It's going to be very slow, Wind of but it gives us time to replenish all of our men. So I guess it could be worse. Let's go. If we dip below minus one authority in order to confederate Carl, I will allow it. Because at that point, we're going to be able to just steamroll them and take all these empire provinces back, uh, reinstate the old elect accounts, and that will boost our imperial authority up very quickly. Such that the 1% chance for each of them to go down by one per turn is... I'm not concerned about that. There you go, we're using our prestige and our authority goes up. Brilliant. Uh, before we get that upgrade for the barracks, I want more money. So I'm going to get the iron mine and I'm going to get this upgrade. And um, honestly, I don't really think that's worth 2,000 to get an extra 10 growth per turn. But what I will do is I'll get this one. I think that's worth 1,000 for an extra 10. But we don't want to be taxed in this area. Given that this needs to develop quite a lot. It is tier 4 now, it looks like. But yeah, still a lot of room for growth there. So we'll move up here. And we're going to encamp Very again, well. and now we're going to be I full health this. ready for this battle at Karak Norn. Um, let's do this. Yes. Light Wizard is moving closer and closer to the Red Eye Mountains. And honestly, we're looking like we're in a pretty good position here to make a bit of a comeback and save the Empire. But we'll see. we got to win the battle against Karak Norn. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of shocked that the Von Karsteins haven't declared war on us yet. But you know, we've done nothing to piss them off. And it looks like Vissenland are kind of keeping them busy. Follow the winds. We're over to the Red Eye Mountains. We get that what? quest battle. Now what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to use him to farm research over here. I didn't want to do it down in the vampire lands because I figured the vampires will have literal vampire heroes hanging around ready to attack me and they'd just kill me too easily. Plus I didn't want to piss them off any more than I already had. It is time. But I'm not really bothered about pissing off them orcs. They're really out of the it way. Best to move. Okay, so they've got they've got 17 troops in there. Nine in the garrison. What? I mean, that is not going to be That's easy to beat, but I think we can do it. I think we can, you know. If only we had some better regiments of renown. Alas, we do not. I really want great cannons. That'd be amazing. Hellstorm rocket battery would have been hilariously good against dwarfs, but yeah, nowhere near 
get that, I'm afraid. Um, we don't want to do any electoral machinations when we've only got 220 prestige. We need to win some battles ASAP. Let's win those battles. Quite nice to actually get a captain as well in our army with Gel. Okay. Um, this will give us 10 with Nordland. Now we're obviously not going to. We're not going to confederate Nordland when we're all this distance from it. No, I don't like having Nordland anyway. Today, you live. Because then you're next to the Norse. You just get attacked by Norse and stuff, it's just a nightmare. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Do I want to upgrade this? I mean, what else could I get if I don't upgrade that? Um, we could get... We could get something... For these guys. We could get toll gates for money. Coaching in for public order. I mean, I'm not really bothered about public order. You could obviously get the garrison. I think we just leave it for now. I would like to improve this region's stuff. Yeah, let's let's go with that. And let's do this battle. Now. Yes, that will do. Now I'm hoping they don't have any other troops anywhere. So they'll be kind of forced to come out and attack me. But I can't attack them outright. I mean I need distance and space on the field in order to beat this kind of army. Wow, would you look at that? It's a temporary region for the Winds of Magic. Because this army is just going to be shit attacking a settlement. Oh, so we have to besiege it and hope that eventually they come out. Yeah, they're still considering peace, so I'm pretty sure that that's the only army they've got. Otherwise, I don't think they'd be considering oh, yes, peace. Yes, yes, beat your flower. I think so. Alright, they're fighting back at Grimgore. Taking all these areas, but... Yeah, they're pushing pretty deep. It's like Cl Clan Angren might actually take back Carrick Eight Peaks. I've never the seen Empire. that before. Mm, if we go over to Hockland... Oh god. The vampires have now took the capital of Ostland. Ostland's fucked. The east of the Empire is getting completely wrecked. Approach and make your... Indeed! Offer. What? Welcome, my countrymen. Disagree with that? Not good. So, welcome, my countrymen. Not in my Go Midland. Go save them from the vampires. Is it Be the real heroes. Fellow yeah, we just continue to build our, our economy here. So the other thing we want to try and do is use this guy. Tell you what, let's cancel the growth building here so that we can get the steel technology buff. Oh, I failed to get it. We should get specialism and make that cheaper in the future. Let's see if there's any followers I can give him to make him more effective. Uh, that's good. Research recovery up. Wound time down is also good. Alright, cool. So, hopefully, Carrick Non come out and fight me. Hopefully, they don't delay us too long. Definitely can't afford to spend nine turns besieging Karaknon. I mean, realistically, the decision to fight Karaknon has, like, wasted 30 turns. <laughs> They're doing it. They're doing it. Okay. Well, we need to win this. The fact it's temperate now. Oh, tempestuous. Temperate. Tempestuous. Winds of Magic. 130 base Winds of Magic. That is so good for us. So good. But this is still going to be a tough fight, man. Ugh, these dwarfs. I hate them. They're Thunderers. Some, I can't just send my war wagons in like I did last time, because the Thunderers will melt them. God. I need to make them come to me with the Mortars. That's what I need to do. And then the Mortars need to focus on actually killing the enemy Thunderers and Quarrelers.
My infantry is so useless compared to theirs. Oh, it's terrifying. It is terrifying. So as you can see, the reinforcements are a little bit off. That's really helpful. Now, um, I'm going to put one mortar really far forward to make them come to me. And then the other mortar I'm going to put a little bit further back and on a flank. So they have to split up. Now, honestly, the infantry are mostly going to be used to tie up their ranged units. That is the best use for them. Because they don't do any damage to the enemy melee units. It's pointless. Again, we'll send a random, like, militia unit over here. Distract them. Stay troops! Ready! Hand gunners! Yes, sir! Ready! Sigma call. Let's see what happens. We are ready! For the Emperor! Weapons at the ready! For the Emperor! God, they're doing a lot of damage already. They're Thunderers? No. Yes, General. Jesus Christ. Taking position. Moving now. Ready. Hand gunners. Ah! Yes, General. Push down, Splitter. Your orders. Taking position. Hand gunners. Talking here, folks. These dwarfs are a nightmare. Wow, they got caught quite quickly. Oh, what the fuck are you doing in melee? Get the fuck out of there. Oh no. Take position. Sir. Yes, sir. Quickly. No lingering. Whoa! Moving. At speed. I am master of shadow. Attack on them. Glory to the empire. Hand gunners. Oh God, Thunderers. Formation! March! Take the ground! We are Sigma's heirs! Water! Get up! Quickly! Ready! No lingering! Sigma! Moving up! Moving fast! 
Oh, how are you caught, girl? Don't want to die. Attack! By my will alone, for Helden Hammer! We're actually getting pushed off. Okay, well, on the bright side, they lost units and I didn't. On the downside, uh, we lost again against these dwarfs and they're going to replenish and we're not. And we've probably been pushed into the attrition range. I'm not surprised he fears dwarfs. This is terrifying. What do you want of me? Send it back through time. There's only one option here, and that is to call in the ogres. Man, we are so debilitated. Don't think so. Uh, yes. We gotta back off, I think. Man, these these freaking dwarfs just will not give in. Moving off. They won't give in. I am in ascent. I'm gonna I feel like the mortar really didn't achieve that much there. I'm going to get rid of the mortar, and I'm going to replace that and the Free Company Militia now. with Morn Fang Cavalry. And I've got to hope that that's going to do it. I mean, they're not recruiting not any troops, but they are replenishing. But so are we. And we just keep bashing heads with these dwarfs. Never again will I ever fight dwarfs. Balthazar Kelt fears dwarfs now. Isn't that terrible? What are we getting here? Construction cost reductions. Yeah, that's all cool, I guess, but... I feel like we need combat buffs. We're getting wrecked in combat still. 
Damn it. You know, maybe I'm a Dowie. Because I'm very stubborn, I know. I could have accepted peace with these guys, but... I want the settlement. I don't want them just chilling there when I've got two minor settlements. I want the settlement. And you know what? I am stubborn. Friendship They've annoyed me. Is more valuable than... Yes, we'll have a nap with Kislev. We're definitely not going to be fighting you. I think we've got enough on our plate. The taint of undeath festers in this place, my lord. Take steps oh, to reduce corruption spreading further amongst your followers, or they may turn against you to serve them. I was trying to click the moot. Something else has happened. Now, we do have a lot of Imperial authority. Which is definitely going to help us, but... Once again, we're running on money, but... We'll get a lot of handgunners next turn with the replenishment, and we should be able to take Karaknorn, I think. I, I feel like I've said we should be able to take Karaknorn quite a lot. Watch it crumble. And now Osland has been destroyed as well, so we've lost another thing as well. We are going to have to pay off the Elector here. I don't want to lose any more Imperial Authority with all the cities falling. We're getting quite low on that. So now for six, minus six points on the Imperial Authority because three Elector Counts have been killed. So we need to we need to take the fight to Karaknon here and beat them and then start pressing against the um, vampires instead. By the comet, get of them in The nation calls. Do not waste my potential. Ulrich's will! Do you take me for a wazak? Hopefully they take more than one turn to muster some more troops here. And hopefully the region is still tempestuous as well. So we get the extra winds of magic. Yeah, these reinforcements are pretty weak. <laughs> They've got organ guns now. That is not good. Alright, let's do this. Look, if we can pull them apart and get the Monfang cavalry in, that should be the source of a victory here, but it's not going to be easy. It's never easy against dwarfs. Not with the banner rules, you know, if I could spam an army of like 12 handgunners, this would be no problem. But I can't do that. For that reason, things are a little bit more tricky. Can you 
reach. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, that Argon gun. Oh, that's gonna mulch us up. I can't believe they've got an Argon gun. What is this? Already killing handgunners. This is absolutely ridiculous. Born Bank Cavalry! In Sigma's name! Lord of Metal! I'm gonna say this is going pretty well. Uh, let's pull these back. Really? Oh, Thunderous. God, Thunderous. Ah, shit. We're getting shot by stuff. But we don't really want to get shot by. So many fans. Get the Thunderers over here. Not the Thunderers, the, um, the Mon Fangs to get rid of those Thunderers. Back. Oh, 
moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. on the organ gun. Oh, that's bad. Run. Move up. You're running into the organ gun. Don't do that. That's very silly. This guy before you like flee. Go! 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 Yeah, they shattered. Brilliant. Doesn't look like he can. Wow, can you get out, please? So we quick around there. Yes, my lord. Oh, because I wasn't in skirmish mode. Oh, that makes sense. Exhausted. Conditions acceptable. Running out of ammo. Big time running out of ammo. Fight for bread. Prepare for combat.
can't tell who's a Finn and who isn't, so I'm just not going to even attack them. Come on, Morfangs, you got this. God, they're so good. So it turns out, in order to beat the dwarfs as the humans, you need to hire some organs. Who would have guessed it? This is clearly the solution. Not that it solves everything, but the thing is, we're wiping out enough units now that when we get our ammo back and all the handguns and the war wagons next time, we should be solid. Yes! Yes, 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 we won. Oh my god. I didn't know if it was possible to win against these dwarfs. My god. I'm beyond happy about that. Finally bring 24 ogres to the fight, and everything changes. That's what we needed all along. Oh my god, that was Pyrrhic indeed. But the thing is, we get our ammo back, and once again we haven't lost any units. Wow. Look at the sheer damage profiles. That organ gun was a nightmare. 5,000 damage dealt, 77 kills. It was chipping off handgunners right from the start. Absolutely brutal. I truly can't believe how difficult this has been to deal with these dwarfs. You have to tech so much into anti dwarf stuff. Of course, another anti dwarf thing would have been to get like. Um, cannons and hellstone rocket batteries but we've just been so far off from being able to get that now do I want to upgrade Festa Spike or upgrade my income Festa Spike you know what that's pretty cool if you uh, if you get this up to tier 3 then you get higher recruit rank for knights and great swords and swordsmen hmm. interesting do not waste my potential how to resolve it. Yes! Oh my god, guys. We did it. We finally have Karak Norn. Can you believe it? And we lock Sterling's Revenge, which is an armor-piercing free company militia. Finally! Now all we need is to actually take all of the Reichland via Confederation. Let's see what's going on over here. So... Oh my god, the Reichland have gone crazy. They actually own all of Paravon. The massive Orkel, which is amazing. Grungzin. Oh, they're doing so good. Go on, Reichland. That is amazing. For some reason, Bretonnia are not at war with these Dark Elves. Interesting. That is great. So we confederate them. We're going to get a massive Orkel. We're going to get Paravon. We're going to get... Wow. We're going to get part of Baston? Hmm... I don't think I'm going to declare war on that. I don't know what we'll do with this settlement, but that's cool. And then obviously we'll get the Reichland. Oh, that's going to be so good. So now we can focus our attention away from this side and onto dealing with this horrible, horrible vampire incursion. What are they doing up in Ostland? They own all of Ostland now. Yeah, the, the Empire's in trouble on that east side. We need to help them out. We do. We do. 
And I don't know if this is going to be the army to do it. This is a very anti-dwarf army. I'm going to keep them on fan cavalry though. Wow, were they strong. They really saved the day. Now we can get 20% extra damage on our handgunners. Amazing. You know, if I get rid of the mortars, I think this army is going to be great against the vampires. I don't really think the mortars are very necessary. Certainly not when Balthazar gets his Pegasus. But that is going to be at level 60. We might keep it until then, then. To make the enemy attackers. And also to give us siege attackers. Are these guys siege attackers? Oh, of course they are. Yeah, I'll just do everything. Brilliant. What? Um, do we want the knights building over here? Probably not, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. And we'll get rid of the, the armory as well. We don't want that in a major settlement. I think we'll keep the, the tavern. Could actually get a witch hunter. Do we want a witch hunter? Cleanse his corruption. Yeah, I think next turn we'll we'll get a witch hunter. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, is there anything that can help us recruit higher rank ones? This one, but we'd have to wait 12 turns. That's a long time. No, I think we'll just go down this this route instead. Get more income. Brilliant. That gives us something to do. Finally, defeating those dwarfs. Wow, that took so long. Absolutely ridiculous how long that took. And that is going to be the end of it. Oh, we can do our quest battle as well. Brilliant. Karaknorn dwarfs defeated. Never again, if I can help it, will we ever be fighting dwarfs. Fingers crossed. Top it out.